Lesson 4.5 Model and Record Two-Digit Addition. We can record two-digit addition. That means we can write it. If there are 10 or more ones, we can write a regrouped 10 in the tens column. The tens column is the tens place value. Then we write the total number of ones and tens. Here we need to add 18 plus 16. We can draw a quick picture of the tens and ones. 18 is 110, eight ones. 16 is 110, six ones. We add the ones first. We count 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 ones. And 14 ones is 110, four ones. We see this little box here. That's for regrouping tens. We know 8 plus 6, 8 plus 6 is 14. What we do is we take this 110, this 5 and this 5, and we group it as a 10. We move it to the tens place. So we're going to cross this off and draw another line in the tens place for a 10. What we're doing here is we're adding 8 plus 6, which is equal to 14. We regroup the 10 to the tens column. So we put a little 1 in this box for the 110. That's this 10 right here. And we have four ones. We put that in the ones column. Now we add the tens. We have one, two, three tens. That means 18 plus 16 is equal to 34. Let's do this some more. Keep in mind, we always add the ones first to see if we need to regroup a 10. Each place value can only have one digit. If we add the tens first, then the ones, we'll need to add the tens again. If we add the tens and say, oh, there's two tens here, we'll put a two here. Then when we add the ones, we get 14, and we can only put one digit here. So we would have to put the 10 up here and the four here, and now we have to add the tens again and say, nope, that's not a two, it's a three. If we add the ones first, we get 14 ones. We can put a four here, regroup the 10, and then put the three tens. Oops. Then we'll only add each column one time. If we do the tens first, if we have to regroup, we have to add another 10 so add the ones first. Let's try it again. We have 54 plus 13. We can make five tens for the 54. That's four ones. For 13, we have one ten, three ones. Can we make a 10 that we can regroup to the tens column? We have four five, six, seven ones. No, we don't have enough this time. We add the ones first. We see there's seven ones. Four plus three is equal to seven. We just add the tens. Five plus one is six. 54 plus 13 is equal to 67. So sometimes when we add two digit numbers, we don't need to regroup. Sometimes we do. Let's try it again. We have 38 plus 19. 38 is three tens. We make three lines for the three tens. There's eight ones, so we make eight little circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 19 is one ten. Nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We add the ones first. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Eight plus nine is equal to seventeen. Can we make a ten that we can regroup to the tens column? Yes, we have five here, five here, that makes a ten. 
we can put a 10 here and cross these out because we regrouped it and moved it to the tens place. Now we count the ones. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We put a seven in the ones place. We count the tens. One, two, three, four, five. 38 plus 19 is equal to 57. The 10 that we regrouped, we put it up here. 8 plus 9 is 17. We put the 10 up here and the 7 here. It's equal to 57. Here we have a word problem. It says Tala collected 44 seashells. Sophia collected 46 seashells. How many more seashells would they need to have 100 seashells all together? We think we can circle the important information, 44 and 46. We need to find how many they have together, then find how many more are needed to have 100 in all. So we can add 44 plus 46. We start with the ones. We add the ones first. 4 plus 6 is 10. We put the 1 here and zero ones here for a 10. Now we add the tens place. Four plus four, that's a doubles. Four plus four is eight, plus one more is nine. So they have 90 seashells together. They want 100 seashells. We think 10 tens is equal to 100. 90 is nine tens. They have 90. How many more do they need to have 100 seashells all together? Do you know? We could count on. We could also think this is nine tens. We need 10 tens. We need one more 10. 90 plus 10 is equal to 100. Mr. Kim wants to plant 100 tulips. So far, he has planted 28 red tulips and 22 yellow tulips. How many more tulips does Mr. Kim need to plant? We think we can add the red and yellow tulips to find out how many are already planted. We have 28 red ones. We have 22 yellow ones. We can add them together to find out how many he already planted. Then we can count on to find how many more are needed. We start with the ones place. Eight plus two more is 10. That's one ten zero ones. Two plus two is four plus one more is five. That means he's planted 50 tulips. 10 tens is equal to 100, which is how many he wants to plant. We have five tens. How many more tens would he need to have 100? If you said five tens, you're right. And five tens is equal to 50. He needs to plant 50 more tulips to have 100 planted. Lisa and Sarah read 30 pages in all. Each child read more than 10 pages. How many pages could each child have read? We think each number must be greater than 10 because each child read more than 10 pages. And the two numbers must have a sum of 30. They read 30 pages in all. So we need two numbers that will have the sum of 30, but the numbers have to be greater than 10. And we think 11 is greater than 10. It needs to equal 30. What do we need to add to 11 to equal 30? If you said 19, you're right. Nine plus one more is 10. We put the one up here and the zero is here. We add the three tens, that's 30. We can try 12. That's more than 10. 
If one of them read 12 pages, we need 30. How many pages must the other one have read? We have 11, 19. We gave one more to the 11, it became a 12. We have to take one away from this 19. We can use 18. Eight plus two is 10. We regroup the one. The zero is in the one's place. We add the three tens, that's 30. We could also try 13. If one of them read 13 pages, the other one must have read 17 pages. Seven plus three is 10. We regroup the 10 up here and put the zero ones for the 10. We have three tens, that's 30. So it could have been 13, 17. You can also try 14. That's greater than 10. If one of them read 14, well then the other one must have read 16. Because six plus four is 10, we regroup the one, put the zero here, we have three tens, that's 30. They also could have read the same number of pages. One of them could have read 15 pages and the other one could have read 15 pages. And five plus five is 10. We regroup the one, put the zero in the one's place. We have three tens. So there are several possible answers and combinations. If we had chosen any one of these, it would have been correct. If we just need to pick one of the combinations, we could have chosen any one of these. Make sure when you make tens from the ones that you remember to add them in the tens column as one of the tens. Our next lesson, 4.6, we're gonna talk more about two-digit addition and adding two-digit numbers. Have a really nice day. And I hope I'll see you again. Bye.